What's going on everyone, Nathan back again. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing these parts from Dynacams for our Predator 212 Hemi build. They actually sent me out something for free, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the larger box, because this one was sent to me completely free of charge, so I'm really, really excited to see what's in it. We got a Dynacam snapback hat that is super, super cool. I'm gonna wear that right now. And it fits perfectly, might I add. Let's go, okay. Let's see what else we got. We got a Dynacam's t-shirt as well, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. Alrighty, let's leave that inside the box. I don't wanna get it dirty. Okay, and inside the corner of the box, I believe is our three ten camshaft. Yeah, there's nothing else left in there. So let's go ahead and open this up. Wow. Look at that, guys. That is the 310 from Dynacams. All right, so inside of the box for our camshaft, we also have some Dynacams stickers, as you guys can see. We got two of them here. I'm gonna be putting those on my bike ASAP. Those are super cool. Um, but more importantly, we also have our spec sheet. Now, what this is going to tell us is what our um, cam, what cam we actually have, um, what the valve timing is, what we should set our valve lash to, and what the recommended ignition timing is. Now, this is all very important information that we're gonna need going forward with building this engine. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to our second box of parts. Okay, let's break this one open. Okay, so here we have our Weiss Co. Piston. Let's go ahead and move this out of the box. Okay, we got some piston rings, as you guys can see. And then, let's see here. Oh, wow. They send it to us in a nice little box. Or not box, a little bag. Look at that. Oh, man. That is beautiful. Do you guys see the shine on that thing? That's crazy. I almost don't even want to put it inside of my engine. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. We also got some stickers. There we go. That's really cool. Some Wiseco stickers. I'm going to be putting those on my bike as well. All right. Let's see what else we have in here. We have an ARC billet rod. Let's break this one out of the box as well. Oh man. Look at that guys. That thing is, all these parts are beautiful. I just love billet parts. These things are just so nice. Oh. Okay, inside the box we also have some bearings to go with our rod um, and that's pretty much everything Alrighty, everyone now that i have everything unboxed i'm gonna go ahead and go over why i chose these parts for my build let's go ahead and start with the 310 camshaft now i chose this cam because it has enough duration to get me to 9,000 rpm but it doesn't have as much lift as some of its other counterparts so i'll be able to pick up a little bit more power on the bottom end now, this is important because I plan on putting this engine in my mini bike, so I'm going to need every little bit of torque that I can get. All right, now let's move on to the Wiseco piston. Now, this piston is special for a few reasons. First of which is because it has two rings as opposed to the stock piston, which has three rings. So that means that this piston is a lot shorter. Now, that does a few things, but I'll get to that in just a second. What else is cool about this piston is that it has a machine dome. So that not only increases compression, but also allows me to use this ARC long rod. Now, one big reason why I'm going with a long rod and a short piston instead of the stock style long piston and short rod 
is because when this piston goes up the cylinder bore, it does so at a much steeper angle, which puts more pressure on the piston. Now, what the long rod does is that it changes that angle and puts more leverage on the crankshaft, and with the smaller piston on top, um, it's going to allow the rotating assembly to move a lot more efficiently. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I just want to give a huge thanks to Dynacams for helping me out with the build and sending me out this sick gear. So make sure you guys go shop with them. Um, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.